Now let's learn about a new widget called Edit Text. Edit Text is a standard entry widget in Android apps. It is an overlay over the text view that configures itself to be editable. Edit Text is a subclass of text view with a text editing operation. We often use Edit Text in our application in order to provide an input or text field, especially in forms. The most simple example of edit text, edit text is login or sign in form, okay? So if you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. Let's go to the main activity, to the layout editor, <clears throat> and here we go to the palette. I will go zoom in and we search for the text. Text, you see that there is a bunch of text, buttons, layouts, containers, Google Legacy, and helpers. Okay, so we search for edit text edit text there is no edit text but there is one note that i need you to understand i told you that as an edit text is simply a thin extension of the text view and edit text inherits all the properties from the text view so the text field, I will drag and drop a plain text, and you see there is an edit text here. So <clears throat> I will add its constraint. Later on, we will learn about the constraint uh, layout in details, so don't worry. Also, I need to get a text from here with uh, phone number i will drag and drop from here i will add its constraint okay now if i need to add its properties directly without using the codes i can do it from the attributes panel by clicking on the first one which is the person name <clears throat> and now I can change the ID of the first text here and add uh, its attributes. Also in the same way, I can make an edit for the ID for the second one. But I will prefer using the code. So I will click on the code tab and here we go to the XML. You see, guys, how to identify the edit text in XML. We start by the tag edit text, and we start defining the layout, width, and height. And here the ID of the first one. I will change it to make edit edit one. I will name it as edit one. And the ID of the second is edit two. Okay. Now. The layout width, they are correct here uh, and everything. These are, these are the attributes related to the constraint layout. Okay, now I want from you to see there is a new attribute called input type. It's defined as type person name. And if we go here, there is an input type called phone. And this is when we drag and drop the second one, it was of type phone. And here, the first one, it was of text person name. If we click on control and space, we can change the attribute of this the text view to these new details, okay? For the date, for text, filter, password, it will be hidden, uh, and and so on. Web email, link, URL, 
numbers. So whatever you want the user to enter, it will be specified by the input type. And the text here, if we go to the layout, there is a text here. Oops, what, what happens? If you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it. You are, you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay, covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now. Okay. If we go here, there is a, a name word appears on the edit text. So we can identify it like making enter your name. Okay, so it would be enter your name and so on. These are for the constraint layout. And this is the type input type, which is phone number. It will only accept numbers. We will see the input type when running the app, how it would be very important when you specify, when telling the user to enter only numbers like phone number, it will not show a keyboard with, with uh, the numbers and letters. It only displays the keyboard of numbers. We will see it when we run the app. So <clears throat> this is how we create an edit text. Also, if I need to create another edit text, I can go here, start by edit text, layout, match parent, match parent, and the ID would be ID, edit three, and Android, I will make a uh, the input type, input type, input type, it would be like password, number password. You see, you see the specificity, number password or text password. Okay. And I will finish by making this. If we go here, It is here, I think, it text. Okay, it's a match parent trap content, it would be. It would be like this. I will drag and drop it. <clears throat> okay, this is edit three, this is the password. This is the phone and this is the name. Okay, now let's go to the main activity and start configuring the edit text and declaring them in the uh, Java class <clears throat> and start playing with the codes and getting the codes from them. Okay, so we start by declaring edit text object from the edit text class. I will import it by click clicking. See guys, there is a red. So I can hover the mouse, it would put for us import the class. Or you can click on Alt plus Shift plus Enter to resolve this error by importing the package android.widget.editText. <clears throat> you see guys how it will be simple. Now, I will name it as uh, edit1 equal to Find the view by ID R dot ID dot edit one. Now 
I have three text edit text, so I need to declare three edit. Dot edit two. Edit text edit three equal to find view by idr dot id dot edit three. It would be very recommended. So in every widget you create, you should declare and instantiate it by this methods. Okay, so every widget you create, you should make it. If you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it. You are, you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and a bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay, covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now.